TOPS Professional Express Community Setup. This course will walk through the Add New Community Setup wizard using the copy controls for the Express Setup of the General Ledger, Accounts Receivable, and Accounts Payable functions. To access the New Community Setup wizard, we'll first click on the Setup menu and then Add New Community. Each community within TOPS must have a unique community ID, which identifies that community within the software. The community ID can be two or three alphanumeric characters. For this class, we'll use the community ID of A19. Next, we'll enter the name of the community, Chessman Community Association. If you press the Tab key after entering in the community name, TOPS will automatically populate the same community name in both the Community Report name and Owner Mailing Display name fields. Next, we'll enter the address for this community and the community phone number. Finally, we'll enter in the community's tax ID and click Next to continue. On this next screen, we'll begin by entering the return payment address. This is the address where owner payments will be sent. We'll also enter a phone number here, which can be used for owner payment inquiries. Now we'll enter the default location of homes. This is the city, state, and zip code where the community is located. Next, we'll choose our preferred access key. This will be the typical way you'll look up an owner for this community. You can choose from street address, account number, or lot number. We'll select account number. When we actually go to look up an owner, though, we can always select another method. Section Phase is an optional field which can be used if your community is divided into sections, phases, or buildings. There are many reports within TOPS which can be produced in Section Phase order. This community has multiple buildings, so we'll use this field to track which owners are in each building. Because the owners in this community all have the same street address for their building, we'll check the box to Use Apartment Number, which will allow us to enter the complete address with Unit Number. The Legal Description 1 and 2 fields are optional fields. Here you can give a name to these fields, such as Lot, Block, and Plat, or floor plan type, and then track that information for each home within the community. Once we've completed the fields on this screen, we can click Next to continue the community setup. This screen allows us to copy Owner, Accounts Receivable, General Ledger, and Accounts Payable setup information from a community that already exists in TOPS to this new community that we're creating. To copy the accounting control information from another community, we'll click the Browse Community ID button at the bottom of the window. That will bring up our community selector. Next, we just double click on the community that we'd like to copy from, and it populates next to the accounting control item. To continue choosing the same community for each item, we'll just press the tab key on the keyboard as we go down the line, and that will automatically fill in each item with XX sample condominium. After completing the Express Setup, you can always go into the different modules and tailor the setup further as needed. Once we've completed selecting the items that we'd like to copy and the communities that we'd like to copy from, we'll click Next to begin copying these items into this new community. A notification pops up to let us know that the copying is in process. And now we've completed setting up this community and we can click Finish to exit the wizard. At this point, you can either go into the different modules to tailor the setup further, or if TOPS is converting the data for you, then this community is ready to have that converted data loaded into it. This completes our TOPS Professional Express Community Setup course. Thank you.